1021 Productions. Yes, can I please get a number two combo with a medium double-double? Would you like to make your uh, double-double fashion go on dark coat today? No, thank you. Alright, try that different window. Thank you. Oh, that's a big bump. I'm going to park over here by this fire hydrant. Oh, maybe we're not. We'll park up here somewhere. We're already here. Some funny Canadian money for my United Statesian friends. It's got the polar bear on one side. And an old bat on the other side. Oh, sorry, I mean the queen. Alright guys, I got myself a nice tasty breakfast, unhealthy breakfast mind you, but what else? And uh, medium double double, so I'm going to put that in my coffee mug here. Save the rest for me. No, save them both for me. There we go. Alright guys, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast here and then we'll uh, go do some shopping. Check out this place. Home and Agro Center and Garden Center. So this is where you come if you want to buy a silo. Each one of these silos, I've been told, has a price tag very similar to an average car. So, pretty damn expensive. All right, go see what's in here. This is what I want. Specifically, one of those, maybe. And 
hose barbs. This is the stuff that I bought. So this is to help with my electrical project and my plumbing project. So I got two female uh, extension cord connectors. So I have to replace the one that's uh, that's fused together. And so I'm going to cut that end off. I'm going to replace it with one of these, and then I'm going to shorten the cord and make a secondary cord out of it. And uh, I could plug in the three-way to the main cord and have one branch off to uh, my tent, and then the other one branch off, or sorry, to the bedroom, and then the other one to the kitchen. Uh, so as for the plumbing, I got some half-inch male and female end hose barbs, so I can shorten up my hoses and redirect them. And I also have. Thank you, Mr. Truck. Please stand by. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye bye. Okay, we'll see you later, okay? Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> so, uh, this, it, this, this is a two way hose valve, so I'm able to shut off my water supply, or at the very least, control it. Little hose clamps for uh, the hose barbs. And then this one here is going to actually go to my water jug inside my kitchen tent. And so this will be my on off switch for that. So I'll probably just drill a hole in the top of the water jug or something. And um, they did have uh, on off connectors there, but I don't, I might do that in the future. So, but for right now, a hole in the top's not going to hurt anything. Just means you won't be able to stand the jug up straight. So, but yeah, those are the things that I got. And uh, so I'm gonna head over to Dollarama and uh, no frills and pick up some groceries. This is the little town of Venezuela. Not very big. This uh, main drag right here is Highway 2A, or sorry, Highway 2, uh, north to Edmonton, south to Calgary. So not a very big town. zoom in here. Pretty much everything I need is all in this little strip right here. So the um, no frills is like right here. McDonald's is over here. Home hardware is right here. That agro center that I was at is right there. And I think Dollarama is the furthest thing away. So there's a Dollarama over here. There's a 7-Eleven over here as well. So but and there's my little blue car. It actually looks like my car too. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Ford Taurus, all right.
check it out. Innisfail has a tanning salon. <laughs> Tiki Hut tanning salon. Just what the people of Innisfail need. So there's what? Uh, Canadian Pizza Unlimited, H&R uh, Block, Tiki Hut, Panda Flowers. Uh, Snap Games, I think. I don't know what the other one is. And the source down at the end. Absolutely love this store. It's the only place where you can go and spend 40 bucks and walk out with six bags of stuff. Get some KD too. KD rocks. Scutterbunch pudding poo too. So these are probably one of my favorites, but uh, there's only 185 grams in there. And although you do get sun chips there, but you don't get sun chips here, you still get a better variety. And you get 100 grams more. Got 185 and 285. So for two bucks, so better deal. So yeah, they're all either two bucks, or the smaller ones down there. Oh, totally grabbing a bag of hoops. So those are a dollar. That's a low price! These are uh, their brand, Best Cola, 25 cents each. So I can get a 12 pack of pop, uh, say, you know, Pepsi, um, at the general store near the lake for, uh, I think it's $8.50. If I go to No Frills, it's four bucks. But if I go here, it's $3. So it's not bad for 12 cans. And I get a variety too. So I got four, um, 7-Up simulated flavors, 4 root beer flavors, and 4 cola flavors. I also do Pepsi 1 liter for 77 cents. These things are freaking delicious. 6 in a box for 2 bucks. Look at that, that's a basket full of stuff. size chocolate bars for 50 cents each so these are the titans are the equivalent of snickers meteors are mars and island bars are bounties or mounds all right off to no frills for her last couple of items
Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go. There's Tentopolis. Dick is all the way there, buddy. Grab some work stuff and then head right to work here. It's uh, just after two o'clock. I'm gonna go have a shave and shower and get that taken care of before I start my shift. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if this is your first time to my channel, please be sure to watch my past videos. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the innovative ways that I make tenting easier and more comfortable. Comments and questions are always welcome, and you can also check my Facebook page for regular updates in between videos. Section 9212 of the McGillicuddy Code of Ethics states that you should like, comment, subscribe. Hey! Hit that button.